Welcome back, Wargamers. Uh, back in my lovely, loud backyard. Um, so last video, built a bunch of terrain. Well, we're just gonna do more of a painting montage this time. As everybody knows, paint time is boring time. Um, but before I get started all doing all the painting and the little time-lapsing montage, I want to show you guys like a quick trick for painting, especially for older stuff like Fallout. Gaslight is a really nice rust technique I ran into a while ago by one of the 40k orc groups. So I'm gonna show you how to do it. All right, guys. So as you can see here from this older piece of terrain, which I need to kind of redo the paint anyway. Might as well since I'm priming everything. So what you do with a salt technique is there's two ways to do it. Uh, works great. Normally, you can get in there with like a, a little paintbrush. And just kind of pick and you know hassle your way through the whole thing using browns and oranges doing multiple um you know little streaks nice effect that's cool very good control to take quite a bit but if you just want something dirty and rusty without too much precision like say one of these uh the trick i was told i, well, I told i found out about which works great is what you do is you use ta -da, some good old kosher salt and what you do is you use salt as a masking for your paint and there's different kinds of salt you can use kind of once your effect I'm using kosher salt because it adds like a let's see if it'll show it here if it wants to focus maybe it did it'll add kind of more of a rougher line to where the rust and the, the paint lines break. Um, like I said, you want a finer, more crisper line, you could use like table salt, which is very fine ground. Um, sea salt, if you want some real chunky breakage. I like kosher salt. It's a nice kind of medium grade. Uh, and there's two ways to do it. Now, it just depends on the look you're going for. If you want like a car with some rust patches on it, the trick what you do here is you paint your entire model to paint your entire model your rust color so like this car here I would paint the whole thing dark brown splashes of tan splashes of orange and then I would go in I would go in and paint like once your paint dries you put a nice varnish on it just to kind of help protect it and then what you're going to do is you're going to just dabble water where you want your rust to be. Sprinkle your salt on. Once that dries completely, uh, you just go and paint your model like normal. And then once you're, once you're fully done, uh, once you're done with your model the way you is, the way you have, like, the way you want it, I'm sorry. Uh... <laughs> You get something like a like a stiff toothbrush, preferably one you're not using, and you're just gonna scrub the salt right off of that bad boy. And then when it's done, the salt basically masked where your paint was. And the other way you could do it is the way I'm gonna do it, is basically the opposite way. You want your vehicle mostly rust, with just some detail color like kind of left. Then do it more of a junkyard style, which I will show you. Get your little bowl. Something easier for the salt. It's very humid in Miami. Your salt likes to stick. You gotta break it up a bit. Uh, 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 uh. You don't need this much salt either. Uh, I work in the kitchen, so I just get tons of salt. So, I'll show you right here. So, we're gonna take our cup of water. Which is, uh, this is my paint mug. Everybody's got their own little paint mug. Got the dollar store. That was pretty cute. So you're going to take your paint mug. Uh, I am left-handed, so I will switch it. And what you're going to do, I got two brushes here. Mainly for uh, different sizes of area. So you're just going to plop it on. Dump your salt on. Now again, it doesn't have to be pretty because, well... It's going to be rusty and covered in junk, you know. And I'm just going to go through. Cover all the bits I want. Mm. 
Now, if you're having like adhesion problems, like table saw, it might stick a little better because it's kind of lighter, smaller pieces, you know. Which I'm gonna try that in a minute. Now you want a good chunk of water to really make sure your um, your salt's really sticking. Uh, any other locations I really want? No. No, not really. I kind of want that corner. So now we can just shake some off, see how well our salt did.
Hey guys, I just wanted to uh, stop this video real quick. So yeah, something pretty cool I ended up getting. I found this on Amazon. Uh, also, sorry about my throat. It's all torn up. I just got a chest cold a couple days ago. And it's just been sticking around. Because it got like crazy cold in Miami. Like, <laughs> it got down to like the 50s, which is insane. And then I got sick from it. But um, I got this pretty cool package of water slide decals I saw on Amazon that are pretty neat. Um, so I'm going to stick a couple of these on my building. They're very graffiti-like. Uh, they're actually made, if you can see, boop, boop. my camera wants to focus would be nice. Do you not want to focus? There you go. Um, they're made for like HO train scales. Which I think will fit pretty well. Uh, it tells you how to get it on here. It's not bad. It was like 10 bucks, I think, for a slot. Now, some of them, from what I've read, is some of them are real graffiti. Like, the guy who makes them went... I don't know if he contacted the, the actual graffiti artist. It'd be hard to do, I imagine. But he went down, like, subways, like Chicago, New York, whatever. Took some photos. And others are just, like, stuff he came up with. Here's where's my camera? At? Here's some of them that are pretty cool. Um, definitely put some of these on my buildings, uh, like this Firefox logo right here. I actually might put that on the hood of a car, but I'm not sure. I uh, got these really long ones, like I know Jerk, I've seen that around for sure. You got a couple long ones, and you got some more of these. So, yeah, I just wanted to show them off, they were pretty neat. Um, like, I'm definitely, might buy more of these, put them on my buildings. Uh, they're a little modern. Some of them you might get away with in uh, 40K. Or, like, Necromunda. Not sure. But for something like Gaslands or maybe, um, oh, what's that Marvel game? I actually don't know the name of it. It's, it's the one where you have to build and paint the miniatures. I almost want to say Crisis Control, but I don't think that's it. Anyway, if you if you know the game, you know what I'm talking about. Like that, they might be a good scale, and that would work as well. Any like modern day ish kind of war gaming would definitely fit. Uh, I don't I don't know if these would work in Fallout. I don't see much graffiti in the Fallout games. Uh, but yeah. Uh, that's it. I'm gonna get back to the painting. All right, guys. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Uh, I just put on my first decal for these ones I got. They go on pretty nice. I overall really like them. Uh, note, if you get them, which, uh, so they don't use white ink. So as you can see from this one right here, there it is, all that white that's around the lettering, that is actually clear. Because the fill-in for all these letters right here were originally white. So just to let you know, they don't do white ink. So what you could do is get some white paint and just kind of, like, stab it. Ooh, focus up. Get some white paint and just kind of dab it where you want the uh, decal to go. And when it dries, put the decal on top. You'll have white. And it might not look that bad either, because then you just kind of have like an overspray of primer. Like you see uh, some graffitis do, but no, overall, quality's good.